like the 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 story of the BBC again that a girl in secondary school, so twelve and above, is net. So I was doing that. They're now being asked for naked photos and and semi semi naked photos. And the trouble is that boys are asking for this expressly so they can share it amongst their friends. That they do it so they can brag. So a girl's image is. It's not, well, look, when we were young, it would have destroyed a person, a woman. And maybe it's less now because it's normalized. But you that, think so? Well, I think it, I think it is. I think it is because, so I rarely go out and I, I went with a guy from the gym to a, a pub he goes to. And in there, you've got young women, I don't know, 20 to 25. And the number of, so number one, you can't see their skin because they're wearing this makeup that's so thick. Number two, they've got fake lashes, puffed up lips, um, boob jobs, uh, fake asses, And they have all this stuff and they're all done up and all that, not because necessarily they want to, but because they believe if they don't look the way things are presented, that they won't be loved, they won't be accepted. So they have no choice to do, but to do what we continually condition into them about looks. Mm, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Mm. That's true because they don't, uh, they don't realize that uh, that's not the way to be loved. Mm. You love don't yourself find... and the others we love you yeah listen one of my uh contacts well i say contact the um mentor officer for my potency dot world she's a um imposter syndrome and menopause coach and uh doing a phd in neurology or brain science or something or the other and yeah you know, i chatted to her and she was saying because as a guy who has that i'm not going to come near you unless you want me to so i've never chatted up a drunk girl or any reason to keep them away you see this uh, spiky collar is i call mm. it a, i call it a vampire repellent because i used to work in primary schools and so that was funny i'll tell you about that another day but anyway i wear it now because it stops people from hugging me I don't really like touch. Oh. Mm. So the reality is that unfortunately a 12 year old girl has only existed in a time when news pictures on mobile phones and all the stuff that goes on are the norm not the exception yeah i agree with you but they don't realize because they see with my niece my niece is 10 years old mm -hmm. and um of course as everybody else huh? as all the girls at that age uh she spent her time on on um on a um, computer yep. even yep. if she got you know, normal life whatsoever but um we were very close together and so she sent me on my phone um a shares and talk is the worst he does a thing that you've seen on tiktok i'm like but for it's normal she goes ah i'm going to show you my last dance and you look at it and you're like well, no, you, you can't do that. You just can't do it. But she does it for it. It's just, uh, well, mom and dad told me, but it's fun. I love dancing. Okay. The other day she was doing a dance and, and, and singing in English. And I said, well, you understand English? And she said, well, no, just one or two words. Because her mother is German, so and they travel a lot. And I said, Well, please don't learn English. I mean, the song was 
the words were so rude. You know, and you see a 10 years old kid dancing, doing this, talking about fuck this and that. Mm -hmm. And you're like, no, she, she's not educated like that. Mm -hmm. What's wrong in this world? And, and that's why for me, it's a big issue because, you know, I'm like, this is uh, this is the problem though you see because so uh, i you know it used to be when a girl turned 11 but i uh, similar sort of thing so many years ago i was volunteering in my first primary school and there was a uh, jehovah's witness girl and lovely bright-eyed bushy-tailed brilliant child but because of her parents religion every year when the Christmas things were going on in the hall and you had, you know, um, that's, yeah, um, that's the person who's going to edit the movie for our fund, GoFundMe to raise the money to register potency.world. Anyway, um, what was I saying? About Christmas and religion. Oh, yeah. So all these it's other fun. children, all these other children, doesn't matter what they were, Jews, blah, 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 they go into the hall, they send Christmas cards to each other, and they put requests into Santa. You know how Christmas, it's just a commercial thing, but she couldn't That's go. It. She couldn't go. And I, I felt so bad for her. So I stayed with her, and we'd read or we'd look at the computer or something like that because I just, I felt so sad that she just couldn't have fun with her friends. Um, yeah. And um, what was the point? Of yeah, one year. So bloody hell, this is going back 14 years. One year she was showing me, she goes, oh, well, I learned this new dance. Um, and it was, um, what's the thing they do where they sort of um, back up with their bums? Twerk, twerking. Have you heard of twerking? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She no. Was, oh, twerking. So basically, the way a stripper puts her bum oh, yeah. out like that, but really yeah. fast. like um, And it's kind of funny when a kid does it, because it doesn't really matter. But like you're saying with your with your niece, what she was doing was based on sexualization of children. Yeah. And the thing is that it's affecting children as young as six and seven. In fact, it's affecting children from all ages in a way that it says, this is what we think of you if you're a girl so we need a cunning plan so if, if you um so i've emailed you the logos and the imagery if you can set up the facebook group on yours for france and um let me hold on okay um you're now a super admin on the linkedin page the social me too page mm -hmm. so uh let me give you the link hold on uh, admin. Uh, chapter okay that's the um uh what's the name uh the linkedin page um then what i'll do i'm going to put it in my favorites right now okay um are you a member of the um uh, of the linkedin group 